Hello and welcome to the best way to get around your base, uh, the teleporter elevator system. Um, for those of you who saw the previous videos, it got up to uh, 1,000 view the previous video, and um, I thought it was time, in honor of that momentous occasion, to um, just revamp this vid. Uh, oh, sorry, revamp this system. Uh, do it in Feed the Beast instead of in Tech It. Uh, so we've now got the latest version of Computercraft using all the flashy, flashy uh, touchscreen monitors and stuff. <clears throat> and yeah, so for those of you who, have, who are new to this, this is how it works. Basically, just go up to the computer, select your floor, and you arrive there. It is a one-click system to get anywhere you want. You can get to any level from any other level. Um, yeah, is is good. Is very cool. So um, it's only limited by the range of uh, RedNet, which is um, you know, that's yeah, it's RedNet's huge. Um, you can get to um, oh, hundreds of blocks of RedNet. So that's pretty good. Uh, if there is a thunderstorm, uh, RedNet's range can decrease though. So be aware of that. If you're going to use this system, I recommend turning it off in the configs. Um, but yeah, so what I have created is this uh, this whole system. I've revamped it. A lot of people um watched the video, obviously, and um. <clears throat> Some people, uh, just, uh, it was very hard to, I got a lot of questions, it was very hard to set up and, and explain, which is the other issue with it. Um, <laughs> but what I've made is, I've made all the computer craft stuff um, completely just automatic, so um, <clears throat> you no longer have to go into the files and write in computer IDs or anything like that. You basically, just, you put down these, you put down the computers and you've just got to copy in a thing from this video, um, a bit of text, uh, just one simple line of text, which will uh, download a pastebin file and it will just go. Um, I love how when you're looking at this, like if you just go like, well, you, you just keep looking at the same place, and it's just like the wall color changes. <laughs> I think that's very cool. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, the whole thing's adaptive. It'll automatically update for how many floors you've got. You can make your monitors whatever size you want, as I proved here. Um, as this is, you know, four, uh, this is two monitors and it's working fine. Whereas, you know, down level one, it's just the one monitor. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> but yeah, this is a, it's a really cool way. It's very power hungry. You'll be using, uh, tens, probably tens of thousands. I mean, I've probably made, yeah, all that jumping around as I've used like, you know, 10, no, a million EU? I've used about, yeah, I've used a million EU with all that jumping around. So, this is very much end game. This is very much show off everything and how flashy everything is. Um, yeah, this is just a very flashy thing to do. If you've got that solar panel factory up and running, or you've got that um, fusion reactor going. Um, yeah, so... Um, how does it all work? Basically, it's using teleporters. It's not black magic. Um, it's the computer craft hasn't all of a sudden become completely cheaty. Uh, basically, it uses two teleporters on each floor. And um, <clears throat> I'll just put that back so we can get there. But yeah, it uses two teleporters on each floor. And um, the way it works, I should probably go down to level one. That's going to be the easiest way to... Um, to explain it. So if you go down the teleporters here, so you got two teleporters here underneath uh, these little covers. You can put covers on them, they still work and it looks nicer um, than all the machinery and stuff. Uh, so these are the teleporters on the floor above me, on the floor above that, there's two more on the floor above that, there's two more. And basically they're kind of linked. Um, so say I want to come from, I just want to go from level one to level two. What's going to happen is I'm going to transport from that te teleporter to that one. But um, if, say I'm going from level one to level three, I'll go from that teleporter to that teleporter, where that teleporter will then pick me up and send me to the teleporter on the right up on level three. And if I was going up to level four, it would pick me up and then uh, the teleporter on the left on level three would pick me up and send me up to the teleporter on the right on level four. So basically it's just teleporting you through each floor. Um, and once you get up to the top floor on level four, um, so if you went from level three, say level three to level one, you'd arrive at the teleporter on like the right on level three. Um, sorry, if you want to go from three to one, sorry, you, the teleporter on the um, left on level three would pick you up and put you on the teleporter on the right. Uh, sorry, and then the teleporter on the right on level four would send you down to this pad here. Um, yeah. 
basically, you're just going around in a loop through the levels. Um, uh, that's hard to explain, like I said. Um, now, this in this little video, I'm not going to go into the scripts, um, the scripts at all, because uh, you don't need to see the scripts to use this. You won't need to do any of that. Um, ah, there we go. That's where those two were. Uh, damn it. Um, anyway, so let me show. I just did that, didn't I? Um, let me show you uh, how it all works. Again, it's completely adaptive, so you shouldn't need to um, shouldn't need to do anything to the scripts. Um, let's yeah, let's go from down here with all the cows. We can listen to them incessant mooing while we make the video. Won't that be fun? Oh my god, I'm running out of disk space. I hope this video still gets made. Um, cool. So teleporters. Um, so yes, actually, I'm sorry, I'm being an idiot. First thing you want to do is set up your um, server. So um, we're going to put down an advanced computer, uh, like there, and then we're going to give that guy a um, modem. Cool. And, sorry, I'm just getting text messages. Uh, ignore that. Um, so, yes, in the comments, sorry, in the description for the video, there's going to be... Um, so, Basically, just some commands to put into the computer. So, um, what you're going to want to do is use the one for the server, and you're going to want to just copy that, and then open this and paste it into um, your server computer, or hit Control V, and they'll put that text in. Uh, you probably won't have that little bit. That's just so I know what I'm pasting in. Um, bam, and then you hit Enter, and that will automatically connect to Pastebin and just download the file, and then you can run. Oop, ruin. What am I typing? Run. Oh, reboot, sorry. We got a reboot. What? Wow. What was I even thinking there? Run. Um, anyway, reboot the computer. And cool, server's up. Oh, God. Sorry, I just remembered. Um, you don't want two servers running in proximity or everything gets the fuck confused. Um, what is that wooden plank? That oh, was a picture. Okay, whatever. I'm just breaking into my own house here. Um, I don't want to start running things with two servers. Um, so we'll just kill the server. It is currently running. Uh, so everything doesn't start hating me. Yeah, really, you just want to run one server. Um, unless your places are ridiculously far apart. Cool. So the server is up and running. And then let's go down here. So yeah, first step. Set up the server. Second step, um, set up your teleporter. Um, so this would be, let's just say this is level one. Um, you have to put a MFSU with the little dot side, the output side connected to that. Um, you're going to need a computer. Now everything is adaptable except for the side that the, the computer has to have its back to the teleporter. So that's just one little important step. Um, and then you can put the modem any side you want. It's all completely adaptive. Um, so yeah, and then um, on this one, uh, down below again in the comments, you're going to want to put on the um, teleporter computer um, scripts. I'll be like, uh, I think, I'll, yeah, I'll probably just call that teleporter or maybe teleporter com, TP com, something like that. Um, and then, yep, that will download as well and we'll reboot it. And now, it's going to register with the server what level this is. So, um, this is going to be level 1. Bam. So, that's how, um, yeah, that's how, like, automatic it is. You don't have to do anything else. Um, that MFSU is going to need power, for which we're going to use an ultimate um, uh, hybrid, whatever. It's always good to check if it's actually getting power, which it is. Um, is it getting dark? It seems to me like it's getting dark, um, which is not what you want. So, I'm just going to set the time. Um, well, those cows are going to end up getting teleported in my network, I swear. Look at him jump on that modem. What a fuck. Um, okay. We'll put level two up here somewhere. Um. Yeah, that looks like I've cleared enough space. So, teleport, again, just the same setup. Teleporter, MFSU, um, then computer. Go give that guy a modem. Um, and... Power up your thing. Uh, power up your that. And then, again, run the same script, just from that paste bin. Uh, reboot. And we're going to call this guy level 2. When it asks, there it goes. So that's now level 2. So that's registered with the server down there as being level 2. So that's, I mean, yeah, that's a decent little way. Um, so then, next is the console. Um, we'll set up a console here. Why not? May as well. 
Um, so we just drop a computer. Um, again, you can put the uh, the modems and the monitor on any side you like, like the front, whatever. Um, and this time it's the it should be the third and final script, which will be the um, console TP console. It'll be called something like that. But uh, you just copy paste, bam, it downloads it. You reboot the computer, and <clears throat> hopefully no errors come up. Good, yep, um, that's good. And there you go. Now, so it's registered that there's two levels in the system, um, and we should be. Oh, one, also, we just go connect the telepos. Um, so again, the easiest thing I find, so you don't fuck this up, is go left to right. So you just click left on this one, and then um, right on this one. Be sure that you click off. That's very important. Frequency transmitter on length, you gotta click off to make it stop doing that, so that's important. Um, and again, because we've only got two levels here, it's just left to right, you know, left to right um, between the two. Um, so this you could, if you're only doing two levels, well, fuck it, you could do it with one teleporter, you wouldn't bother. But um, obviously, you know, we can add levels. And I will add a level to show you how that all works, because um, you can add levels to this after the fact and it all updates automatically, which is kind of sweet. Um, cool, those should work. Now, teleporters can be finicky, so I don't know if this will go first time. But yeah, no, it has. Cool. So yeah, that's uh, that sent us back down to level one. Um, <clears throat> now we can add a level to this. Um, so let's just come up here and add, ooh, right, um, up here and add level three. Um, so again, same deal. Drop teleporters. Uh, we're going to drop the MFSU, we're going to drop a computer with its back to the teleporter. That's very important. Um, that's non-negotiable if you're using this program, unless you want to go in there and start editing the script. Um, and we'll just drop a ultimate um, solar panel for that. Cool, and again, we just go run this script to get this guy to... Oh, shit, let's put the console script on that. Whoops. Uh, Del... Oops, got to learn how to type... Delete, start up, um, bam, and sorry, I'll just grab the correct script for the TP computer, um, uh -uh. there it is, and now we'll reboot, now that's going to ask us for our level, and we'll make this level 3, done, um, now, if you, when you're adding a teleporter to the system, Honestly, I find the best thing, make sure you always unclick to make sure you unlink those. Um, I usually find the best thing is just to break all the teleporters and replace them and relink them because it gets so finicky adding teleporters, it really does. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, left to right up through the levels basically. So left, so they'll unlink the link that it had previously, to right, and then make sure you click off and um, yeah, unlink the frequency transmitter and left uh, to right down the bottom. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, bam, done. Um, and we don't have a console down here. We may as well just use the existing console. But um, so yeah, that should all happen automatically. It will have registered with the server. So now, if we just click um, click anywhere on the screen, it should update the screen. Yep. So now it's got that. There's three levels in it. Um, and, uh, we should just be able to select any of them, but again, the teleporters might fuck up. Oh, no. No, it works. Cool. So, yeah, there we went from one, from two to three, or we can go from two to one. So, we've actually traveled for an instant through level three, then back down to one. And that's basically how it works, guys. Um, it's, yeah, so it's really simple to set up, providing that you have the technology and you have the power. Um, as you can see, I mean, that's a big range. Uh, it can go much further than that. Um, it, it should last, you know, any facility you got. I want to see if I can make that cow teleport. I wonder if it can. If I stand back and hit this. Uh, what are we on? Level, level three. Nah, uh, if he was standing on it, we'd make him teleport. Dang it, he must have moved away. Um, anyway... Um, so everything's completely adaptable. Um, if you do ever, uh, look, I don't see any reason why you would need to, but if you ever want the server to forget a level, um, you can overwrite a level. So if you put down new computer, you just register it again, and it will completely overwrite. But um, if you ever want to delete a level, it's like, that's the information for one, two, and three. So if you want to forget level one, you just delete one. 
Um, and what else? If you want, um, if you want this to, again, you should just break the computer and replace it. It would probably be easier. But if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, you know, forget or to forget about the server or re-register with the server or something, um, you just delete um, serve, which is the file serve, which is where it holds all the information about the server. Server. So then when you reboot, mm -hmm. it'll want to register again um, automatically. So we just put level one. Oh uh, yeah, and for some reason it teleports you. Um, <laughs> maybe I should fix that up. Um, if the teleporters are hooked up, um, when you, when you register, it'll teleport you for some reason. No idea why. Um, so anyway, you can add screens to this as well. So if you get above, you know, five or whatever, um, you can add screens to it. That little ugly, oops, shit. didn't mean to do that. Um, that should uh, update. There you go. So that can be whatever size you want. Um, it's completely adaptive um, to whatever happens. There it is. Ta -da. Um, so yeah, if you've got like 50 levels or whatever, you, you can just put like 10 monitors on top of each other. Uh, might become a little inaccessible at that point. But yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I, I can't think of anything else that um, really needs to be said. Um, <clears throat> it, it's power hungry. You'll use a lot of EU. Um, so just make sure, you know, that... This is, you know, this is just when you want to start showing off and um, just, you know, getting around your base really quickly or, you know, getting around. I mean, you could get around seriously a town with this with a range on red net. Um, if it's, if one of these is out of range, you'll know it just won't register with the server. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you just, you'll know if it's out of range. It just won't work. The, um, the teleporter computer won't work. Um... And yeah, if you've got any questions or suggestions or anything, please chuck them in the comments. Um, I love that. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, look, there's obviously going to be a lot of pros and cons versus um, uh, using Miscraft portals. I just think this is more flash. That's just my opinion. I just love just being able to walk up to a monitor and go, uh, second floor armory on the floor. third floor, please. You know, uh, just press the button and you're there. There's no waiting around for books to load in our portals or, you know, push the button and then walk through the portal or anything. It's just, it's quite schmick. You can hide everything, so all you see is the, um, all you, all you see is the monitor, you know. Um, but, you know, that said, early game, well, hell no. You, you know, you obviously could not use this in the early game. You wouldn't, you know, have the power to do it. Which is fine. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's just, that's why I like this. I like this little system. Also, I mean, I created this on TechIt, you know, before Miscraft was a thing. So, um, yeah, even then, then it was definitely the best way to get around. Um, yeah, so thanks, guys. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And um, stick around for my next crazy, wacky little invention. Thanks for watching, guys.